most esteemed colleagues of Retrology. Tis I, Crow. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a little bit, huh? I, uh... Well, look who finally no, decided no, to No, you don't up. get to be in here. This Why? is my time. Nope. Uh -uh. No, no, no. I... Wait. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <sighs> Anyways, welcome to episode one of As the Crow Flies. Um, this is a thing that I've been meaning to do for a while now. Um, I've got some ideas with the Retro Road Show and stuff like that, but, um, there's a lot of other stuff that I want to talk about, and, uh... I, I just wanted some way to do that without pissing everybody off about, you know, this isn't the normal show. Um, not that you guys do that. You guys are actually really awesome about everything. I have, like, two trolls out there, I think. Um, and I don't know. I mean, dudes, if you want to message me and let me know what I did, I, I'll talk to you. I mean, it's, I'm not a mean dude. I don't uh, do anything to piss anybody off, so... Can't imagine why you're there, but it's the internet, so I, uh, it's just kind of comes with the turf. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, that's really what this is, is just kind of a vlog. In all honesty, I'll, I'll do, uh, you know, behind-the-scenes stuff, you know, updates, uh, if, if that pertains. Um, shout-outs, I really want to do, uh, you know, way more shout-outs than I've been able to do. Uh, the thing with Retro Roadshow is, like, it's, uh... I'm, I'm basically, I'm, I'm putting it all over the internet, so it doesn't just pertain to YouTube anymore. There's a lot of stuff that I want to do, you know, just for the YouTube audience, because this is, like, my core. This is where I uh, started out, and I, I really, you know, I just, I like interacting with you guys, uh, at least the people that I have so far. I know there's, like, just some bastards out there, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, I try to be pretty zen about all that, and if, uh, you know what, if you're gonna troll, that's cool. Uh, be entertaining, at least. That's, uh, that's kind of the point of trolling, is, uh, you know, to make people stop and go, what? what? Like, you're supposed to make brain hurt, not hate. But, uh, that's besides the point. So yeah, just like that, uh, you know, ranting about stuff, all sorts of random things, anything that I think that you guys might be interested in, but I can't necessarily stick it in the road show, or I just can't wait to talk about it long enough to, you know, stick it into an episode, which takes forever to make, so, uh, yeah, uh, just to prove a point, uh, here is this. M -m -m Mustard Challenge! Dudes and dudettes, welcome to the Mustard Challenge. Crow here, uh, looking particularly crusty right now, but I came up with this idea, and, uh, probably gonna regret this but I was in you know I don't even know where I was I was like uh, I was doing some sort of chat and I think Jay from G Game Chasers was in there and uh, something about the the mayonnaise challenge with keep 33 and then pff, I said something about doing a mustard challenge and uh, Jay called me out on it so here it is uh, mustard challenge apparently all challenges must be done shirtless yeah! Here's my spoon, here's my mustard. Yeah. There we go. I can't fit this, I tried fitting the whole spoon in my mouth so I can. But, make it a little bit interesting. If you guys wanna try this at home, you get some salt, put some salt in there. And then we got some good old fashioned Louisiana hot sauce. Alright, get you out of that. <sighs> F you, Shady J. Oh. 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 No. No. Oh my god. Turn the f camera off. <laughs> Monster challenge. I don't. I don't recommend anybody ever doing that. Um. Ever. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a while since I posted anything. Uh, this clearly isn't an episode of Retro Road Show, and uh, you don't look too surprised. That's good. Uh, <laughs> we're getting to know each other. I'm. I'm trying to work on it, guys. I. I had some things happen. Um, on a real serious note here for a second, uh, my dad got really, really sick. And, you know, his business is his business, so I'm not even going to go into it. Um, it. It wasn't, like, his fault or anything like that. Nothing crazy like that or anything. But, uh, 
yeah, he got really sick, and um, I thought I was going to lose him uh, for a little bit, and it's just been kind of hard to jump in front of a camera again and uh, just do something that's like happy-go-lucky, which I really try to be um, most of the time, but man, when something like that happens, it's uh, it just kind of takes the wind out of you, and I just didn't have the heart to make anything for a little bit. So, um, that's, uh, uh, that's like real heavy stuff, I know. Um, I mean, that was only like a month ago, and I've been gone longer than that, so I'm making no excuses before then. Um, I was actually working on something, uh, with some friends of mine and stuff, uh, which I'll get into a little later in the, in the, the vlog episode, whatever the hell this is. I am working on stuff, uh, some things happen, though, that, uh, real life, anybody on, you know, on YouTube and stuff like that, especially, like, dudes like me that don't get paid or anything, uh, real life takes takes first seat, you know, front seat. Um, it's uh, it's it's just not even not even debatable. So uh, yeah, to make up for that, I've been I've been kind of hemming and hawing in my head about what episode seven should be. I've got some stuff filmed, but uh, I actually went back and I decided I'm gonna film this thing live uh, in front of an internet audience on Justin TV. The quality is gonna be terrible. Uh, absolutely abysmal, but uh, I'm gonna do it. Uh, whoever wants to come out and check it out, it's not gonna be like me setting up the the camera like right here and stuff like that and just do it doing it to Justin TV. Um, I'm just gonna let you guys watch me film it. Uh, the whole process, start to finish. I'm probably gonna need like a lot of caffeine and uh, or you know, in in my experience with doing this, sometimes episodes will go you know like bam 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 they're done. And then other ones can take like weeks just because, you know, something happens, the phone rings, you get on a conversation with uh, somebody you haven't talked to in five years, or your mom calls, or, you know, some crazy stuff like that, and then, it, you know, that the lighting's all change, and I do this in a room with a window, so I'm really picky about that now, even though this is all still crap quality, I'm trying to think about things like lighting and stuff, so, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, episode seven will be filmed in front of a live, uh, not studio, but internet audience. Um, whoever wants to come and take part, I'll probably do some interaction. Don't expect like a whole ton of interaction just because I'm going to be busy filming the episode, but there'll be times where I like to kind of, uh, just take things as I go. So I might ask you guys opinions on what you think I should do next or maybe a funny bit in the show. Uh, kind of let you guys have input on an episode and we'll see how that goes. I may do it in the future. It may be a total disaster and you might, you might just want to show up to see the whole thing crash and burn, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's my plan for episode seven. I can't do it this next weekend. I got to go home and see my dad and, uh, help out with some stuff back in hometown, so, uh, if you subscribe to my Facebook page, you can always keep updated, I don't, I don't update it, like, all the time, I'm not one of those people that tells you, like, when I'm taking a poo, or something like that, or even when I'm going out to do something, I, I may come back, you know, like, uh, from a movie and say that was awesome, or something like that, but I'm not a real crazy active Facebook person, that could change, but, uh, you know, rest assured, though, that if you, uh, if you go to my page there, you will definitely see when things are happening, and I'll try and post a video too, right on YouTube, uh, when the live show is going down, so that at least all you guys can see that too. Now, I've talked a little bit about the coming update, uh, like the the upgrade or whatever, and you know, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna stop talking about that after this, because I'm realizing right now that it's a huge undertaking, and I'm gonna do it, but I gotta stop pressuring myself uh, by saying I'm gonna have things done by a certain time, because holy crap, man. Like making a real TV show, and uh, or at least what looked looks real to me. Um, it's it's really freaking hard, <laughs> and I'm building a lot of stuff and driving my wife insane. And I've got to be kind of careful there. I mean, I got a cool wife, but also uh, you got to be respectful too. So uh, yeah, you know, I will. I, I'm just not gonna talk too much about the update. What I can say is it it's probably gonna turn into a really fun Saturday. I want to do it like every other Saturday morning, and uh, it's it's gonna be just a rad time. Uh, I've got I've got some test shots and stuff, and I'm not quite ready to show those yet, but I I think I will soon. I'll uh, I want to do a little bit more tweaking with them and just. Uh, you know, make them more to my liking. But then I want to show you guys to make sure that you're all not going to bail like when I bust out the show. I think it's going to be totally rad. Um, and in the end, I mean, the channel's my channel. So if you guys want to bail because of that, uh, I'm sorry. I mean, I'll, 
I can tell you that it's going to be very much like what the show has been now, uh, except just a lot more fun, just a lot more uh, crammed into one episode, and it's uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be rad. So yeah, end of that discussion. Uh, I'm going to remain mysterious about this from now on because I'm getting everything kind of into like the the later stages of pre-production where I can start filming it and. Uh, yeah, uh, if anything goes wrong, I don't want people, like, you know, saying, when's the new next thing? I always have, you know, just the standard show to fall back on, and, uh, you know, I don't want people wondering when the, when the whole upgrade's gonna happen, just because, uh, it, it couldn't happen, maybe. I mean, it, it, the show will always get better, but what I'm thinking might be totally stupid, and, uh, yeah, so... So another thing that I wanted to do was put a little uh, shout-out section in here because uh, I don't think I do that enough. And I can't do it as much as I want on the road show because I'm planning on spreading that all over the Internet. And there's probably some people out there that don't even want to be on YouTube. Um, I, I like it here. But with the recent changes and stuff like that, I've noticed a lot of people heading to other sites, uh, which is cool. You know, whatever you want to do. Um, I'll just say that I'll be there as well. And... Uh, those people probably aren't going to come back to YouTube uh, anytime soon, uh, you know? So we'll, we'll put the shout-outs in here. I'll still do shout-outs in the Retro Road Show, but, um, yeah, until I see how that kind of pans out with all the different websites and stuff like that, um, I'll be putting them in here so that you guys, you know, it's the YouTube people want to hear about the YouTube shout-outs and stuff, I think. Uh, if I'm wrong, let me know, and uh, I'll I'll rethink things. At least I'll I'll think about things, so... Yeah. <clears throat> shout outs. The first shout out that I want to make in this video is perhaps the shout out king of at least the YouTube, you know, retro gaming community. And that is Trouble8385. That's Trouble, spelled without an E, so T R O U B L 8385. Um, yeah, dude's an awesome guy. He just literally roams YouTube and finds the coolest stuff. And uh, it's like the best thing. It's. The next best thing to having like a TV guide uh, about YouTube, it's um, I <laughs> I can even go back on his old videos and stuff like that. He puts so much stuff in each video that you can totally skip over stuff and not even realize it. And what he does is he just kind of he's like a newscaster. He just goes down the list of you know all the cool stuff he's found on YouTube, especially in the gaming community over the week, and uh, provides links so you can go watch this stuff too and show some love. And that's, that's so awesome, I can't even tell you. That's how, I mean, a lot of you guys possibly found Retro Roadshow through him, which is, bueno, I mean, <laughs> thanks, dude, that, that means a lot, and it's, uh, it's really cool and humbling to have, you know, you know, just get a shout-out, and for a smaller channel, you know, when I, when I started out, I just kind of, I, I hoped that I would get a few subscribers, and, you know, maybe 10, the big number was like 100, and stuff like that. And uh, when somebody bigger than you helps you out and throws you a bone like that, it really just kind of makes you stop and uh, really appreciate not just the project that you're working on, but the community that you've found yourself in. It's a really good source for that, and it's, uh, it, you know, keep doing what you do, man. I don't, you, do, you don't ever have to give me a shout-out again or anything like that. Keep shouting out the new channels, because that's what they... That's what they need, and I'm going to do that more. I just wanted to talk in this first one about some of my good buddies and stuff like that. And I, I will continue. If I missed you or anything like that, just, you know, give me a holler. I'll give you another shout-out. Number two, Steve Benway. Um, just go to his channel and start watching uh, because I have a real hard time describing what it is that he... Well, I can describe what he does. I mean, in a nuts and bolts sense, he does gaming videos. Um, he'll say that... Uh, I think it's the quote is, it's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. Um, and that's probably a horrible <laughs> impression of him, but uh, I smile whenever I hear that because it is, it's a, it's a guy from the UK. Um, I don't know specifically where because I'm, I'm such a space case, I don't pay enough attention to that sort of thing, but uh, overseas, and he's got a killer British accent, and it's him playing games badly. It's not that he's a bad player, it's just this, like, you know, you, you get a game like, oh, I've never played this before, and you pop it in, and you're a bad player for a little bit, everybody is. And it's really funny to watch him, uh, you know, try and get understand these games, and it gives you a little bit of insight to the game, and it usually will make me go check out other reviews to find out what it's really about. Um, but he does that, and then he, he talks. 
right? You know, who doesn't talk on YouTube, like, right? But he does these things called the Friday Talkie. And I don't know if it's his voice or his attitude. It's probably a combination of all the things. He's got a great personality, um, really just entertaining to listen to. Um, has a, I like his sense of humor. And he's just a really good guy. Uh, really worth checking out. I always, I, I always watch his videos because they're just, especially the, the game reviews. I'm, I'm kind of babbling on about this because I can't find the words to properly describe it. It's an amazing channel. Go check out Steve Benway. Speaking of awesome British dudes, uh, you want to go right now and subscribe to Lawn Boys Post 1975. And I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> he he does everything. I mean, it's like a, a nerd lore treasure trove of stuff. He talks about all sorts of stuff from video games to just some stuff on Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not really into Yu-Gi-Oh, but for some reason when he's talking about it, I'm interested. Um, eh? uh, all sorts of stuff, movie reviews, rants, lots of community interactive stuff that, you know, he'll ask a question like, what's the reason that you retro game? And, uh, which I, have yet to answer. <laughs> and, um, that's kind of what I hope with this vlog section too, is that I can answer some some of the community questions that are going on, because I feel like some people get so disappointed when I don't release a Retro Roadshow episode, and I'm sorry about that, but I also want to interact. So, yeah, but he interacts like he's just an interaction machine. He got a hold of me before he even had a YouTube channel, and was like, oh, I want to send you some stuff, I really like the show, and I was like, dude, send it on out, which that's gonna be episode seven but uh, besides the point he uh, he's like you know I should I start a YouTube channel I really like this stuff and I'm like yes like go go my little friend and <laughs> start your YouTube channel and rant and rave and retro game and whatever the hell you want to do and uh, screw the trolls if somebody has a problem with what you're doing like they probably live 2,000 miles away and can't do shit about it and if it's your neighbor like I dare you to come over and do something about my gaming. Like, that's it. That, that'll that be me acting tough and all macho for the episode. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so he started a channel, and he's doing really well now. You guys should definitely go check it out. Uh, Lawn Boys Post 1975. And he has, he actually, I'll, I'll mention him a little bit later in some things that I'm going to talk about in just a minute here. So, yeah. Now for a dude that I've been meaning to shout out for a while, uh, Tom360 Degrees. What's up, man? It's been a minute, right? Um, yeah, he, he's just a, a good community member in all honesty. He's just a real honest dude, and he's not trying to put up a front or, you know, pretend to be something he's not. He's just himself on camera, and it's really, really good to see. And uh, always active in the community, commenting and stuff like that. So definitely go check him out. You'll be glad you did. Uh, great guy to know. Uh, awesome channel. Tom 360 degrees. And now we come to what could possibly be one of the raddest new channels that I've seen in a while. Um, I definitely want you guys to all go and check these guys out. If you're a fan of gaming shows in the 90s, um, if you're a fan of Classic Game Room, I don't know, uh, you probably know who Classic Game Room is and stuff like that. These guys are very, very similar to the early days of Classic da Game Room with uh, Mark and Dave. And uh, that's Slime TV. I love this show. It's, there's something about it that uh, they really captured that like 90s-esque um, feel. I, you know, I, there's, there's, it's hard to put a finger on, but you know when you watch it and you just think like, you, you forget that you're whatever age you are and you feel like you're 12. Um, that's a beautiful thing. They're all in a band together, which is even awesomer. Kind of reminds me of like, you guys remember, uh, what was it, uh, Super... Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad, uh, like Total Power Rangers ripoff from the '90s, and uh, it had one of like the Lawrence Brothers or something like that. It was totally cheesy, but all the guys are like fighting robots in the digital world, and they're all in a band together. For some reason, I get the same vibe. Totally awesome stuff. Go check out Slime TV. Now, finally, I have a few shout-outs slash plugs. I guess a lot of you guys have you know been asking what what have you been up to and. Are you are you doing retro road so stuff and wh when's it coming out and stuff like that? I've actually I've been really slack and I let you guys know about a few things. Been on a few podcasts. <laughs> I've done some crossover episodes and stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna go through now and just kind of point you guys in the right direction because I should have been plugging these things a long time ago. But you know if you're at a lack of uh, retro road show content or you just want to see some 
dude's having a good time. We're talking about some great games and stuff like that. Uh, check these out. The first one is actually a mashup, okay? Uh, a YouTube mashup, if you will, between myself, uh, Lawn Boys Post 1975, and Pixel Justice 20XX. Actually, right here. There's his page, all right? Now, you're going to go on his page and watch his videos because they're funny as hell. Second thing you're going to do is you're also going to notice that during one of his videos, I believe it's during the second part of his Q&A session, uh, I sent him a question. Not only did he respond to this question, but he made an entire episode about it and pulled me in for a cameo. And without revealing too much in spoilers or anything like that, uh, it involves us in a video game, basically. There's a mechanized version of me, an evil mecha crow. Ken Masters is evil as well, and he kills Robocop. And madness ensues, and it's, it's just a good time. So definitely go check out his channel. Check out all his videos, because uh, he's slowed down a little bit lately, but he could, uh, he could use the encouragement. <laughs> so uh, yeah, definitely go check it out. It's a good time. Um, it's it's a whole adventure into itself. So uh, yeah, uh, you guys remember? Uh, it was like probably a year ago, or I don't even know when it was ago. But I was on All Gen Gamers, and that was a blast. I I've never had more fun talking to a bunch of dudes about games. It was, you know, I've I've got a few friends who game and stuff like that, but nobody as hardcore as some of the people on YouTube in the gaming community. So it's always amazing when I get to talk to you guys, anybody out there, and uh, I got the chance to do that a few more times. Uh, if you go over to Silver Mongoose videos, right there, it, he'll do things on, you know, like the 3DO Buyer's Guide was one of the recent things that he does. And he basically just goes through what you should look for, um, you know, what you should keep an eye out for, and for what price point. And it's really helpful knowledge to know, especially if you're like a picker like me, and you see something out in the wild, and I, you know, I run off of landline technology, man. I don't have an Android phone or anything like that, so, or an iPhone that I can look up things on eBay. I gotta keep it all up in here, and uh, you know, stuff like that really kind of helps uh, let you know what to look for and stuff. So, definitely check out his videos. And we did uh, basically, uh, I don't know, it was like almost four hours long, I think. Uh, a whole podcast about just me and him talking about adventure games and, uh, you know, some other random retro lore like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, just a, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. And uh, it's it's a really good time. We just, we literally just kind of swim through the sea of uh, retrology, as I like to call it. And, uh, yeah, so go check that out. Uh, you know, put it on a separate tab because, like I said, it's like three hours long or four hours long or something like that. It's ridiculous. I have a habit of like rambling on and on and on, especially like during podcasts and stuff like that. So you'll notice a lot of those are long. And speaking of podcasts, I was I was on another podcast with uh, Taylor from uh, Muragaru. Um, oh boy, it, links right here. It's it's a series of numbers after the name. I have a real hard time remembering those. Um, but uh, it's the Power On podcast. It's with uh, Taylor and Sushi B. We were playing games in the podcast. They had like a trivia game, and we basically we sat around for I I don't even know how long. Probably like two and a half hours, or it was probably over three hours actually. I think they edited it down, but um, that's that's a good thing. Trust me. I mean, we, we're talking about games that we hate, uh, games that we love to hate, games that we we hate to love. Uh, you know, all the all the things that transpire in there. Uh, really good time, lots of lots of laughing. So uh, check it out, definitely. That's uh, it's it was it was a blast, you guys. I really had a good time doing that, and we should do it again soon. And you know, anybody else out there who has a podcast and you're looking for a guest or something like that, I I'm more than willing to come on and just you know shoot the shit, talk shop, whatever you want to do. Um, I love it. It's it's fun. It's fun and it's it's low maintenance for me. So, yeah, uh, totally. Uh, anybody who feels the inkling to send an invite out, out or anything like that, do so. Um, I'm totally down like a killer clown from outer space. So, yeah. Now, finally, finally, the end. Um, I want to talk about the thing that I was doing uh, basically before my dad was sick. I was working on this for, you know, I, I don't even know how long, a little bit. And uh, a, a friend came to me basically and said, I have a, a, a project for school that I need to do. Uh, I need extras for a zombie movie. Zombie movie? I'm 
sure, you know. And, I, you know, while you're at it, I'm actually, I, you, would you mind me helping you out with some of the crew stuff? Because I'm trying to get a little bit of experience and stuff like that. And she basically says, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know anything about directing or about camera work or anything like that. And help. And I, I saw it as an opportunity to definitely uh, get involved with something a little bit bigger with a lot more people and, uh, you know, just turn out a small film. And that's what we did. It's called X's for Zombies. And you can check it out right here. Um, it's not on my channel. I'm looking at, I'm working on getting a copy of it for myself too. Um, it's on my friend Heather's channel. It's basically a 10 minute short, no gore zombie film following uh, a group of friends they, they show up at a party and some of uh, their zombies and there's uh there's a story and stuff like that and i'll let you guys watch it it's, it's 10 minutes long so i could really easily spoil the hell out of it and i don't want to do that keep in mind i mean this is nobody knew what they were doing you know it, it's something that i'm starting to learn about but nobody was a professional on this so there's probably a lot of stuff that you guys will notice that you know, especially any filmmakers out there that you'd be like, oh my god, I can't believe we did that. And we we did it because we did it fast. We did it quick and dirty. Um, very much in the Cinemassacre style. Uh, that's a that's an ode to James Rolfe there. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. I had a blast making it. We all had a blast making it. Apart and aside from, like, there was one point where uh, one of the actors uh, was not having a good time and decided to bail. Uh, by trying to run over one of the other directors <laughs> and uh, we fixed that though we got it all worked out and uh, it, it turned out the way it did and um, I'm planning a much bigger zombie film uh, this this next year and I think that's gonna be really fun and really really kind of starting to dive into the whole filmmaking thing so check out once again X's for zombies and once you once you see the film you'll understand what the title is all about but uh, yeah it's a good time it's not the best thing in the world, but it's uh, it's fun. You'll you'll enjoy watching it. Have a beer or something like that, and sit back and watch it. Uh, you can not let your kids watch it because it's no gore, but it does have a lot of profanity in it. So, I mean, that's that's your call. I can't tell you what to let them watch, but yeah, it's kind of why I keep profanity out of my show because I kind of realize how hard it is to stop kids from looking at things on the internet. So. I try. That's about all I have for this uh, little episode of As the Crow Flies. Um, you know, as always, dudes and dudettes, uh, if you like anything that you see on this channel, let me know. If you dislike it, let me know. I'm learning, so maybe this is really lame. Uh, and I don't realize it. Can't blame me. I've been stuck in the 90s. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you know, leave a comment on anything that you want to comment on. I always try to get back on comments. Sometimes I fall way, way behind. Um, you know, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and you'll know when the, the live episode filming is coming up. Um, I did kind of like an impromptu thing on Justin TV. Uh, it's really bad quality, but it's a little bit of a Q&A session. So if you go to Justin TV dot, or justin.tv slash retro roadshow, um, I think there's like a highlight video up there still. Maybe not. Uh, let me know in the comments as well. Comment, comment, comment. Um, I'm kidding. If you don't want to comment, don't comment. I don't, I'm not a comment whore and I don't really care about any sort of numbers or anything like that. Just as long as I and you are having a good time. Uh, that's it. I are having a good time. Sometimes my brain doesn't work. Yeah. With that, stay rad. We'll see you next time.